Hi guys, you're still today with the SS Amazing World. Today, the second episode of the weirdest endangered animals, anglerfish, is about to be discussed today. Before you go ahead of the video, you can still subscribe, then click on the subscribe button below to join us. Then we will go to the video. Anglerfishes are members of the Teleost order Lophiiformes. They are bony fishes named for their characteristic mode of predation, in which a fleshy growth from the fish's head acts as a lure. A mitochondrial genome phylogenetic study suggested the anglerfishes diversified in a short period of the early to mid Cretaceous, between 130 and 100 million years ago. Ranging in color from dark gray to dark brown, these carnivores have huge heads that bear enormous, crescent shaped mouths full of long, fang like teeth angled inward for efficient prey grabbing. Their length can vary from 20 cm to over 1 m with weights up to 45 kg. Many anglerfish species are deep sea dwellers, which poses a challenge to ecologists who hope to study and observe the fish. Anglerfish morphology reflects the value of energy conservation for these organisms which often live in extremely prey-scarce environments. Some researchers suggest this is why many ceratioids minimize their energy use by remaining lethargic and using a lion weight hunting strategy. Anglerfish are particularly well suited to conserve energy because they are able to hunt and forage while remaining lethargic, devoting just 2% of energy intake to swimming. The name anglefish derives from the species' characteristic method of predation. Anglerfish typically have at least one long filament sprouting from the middle of their heads, termed the elysium. The elysium is the detached and modified first three spines of the anterior dorsal fin. In most anglerfish species, the longest filament is the first. This first spine protrudes above the fish's eyes and terminates in an irregular growth of flesh, and can move in all directions. Anglerfish can wiggle the esca to make it resemble a prey animal, which lures the anglerfish's prey close enough for the anglerfish to devour them whole. The jaws reflexively shut upon contact to the tentacle. Some deep-sea anglerfish of the bathypelagic zone emit light from their esci to attract prey. This bioluminescence is a result of symbiosis with bacteria. Although the mechanism by which they are harnessed by ceratioids is unknown, the bacteria have been speculated to enter the esca from the seawater through small pores. Once within it they can multiply until their density is such that their collective glow is very bright. Because anglerfish are opportunistic foragers, they show a range of preferred prey with fish at the extremes of the size spectrum, whilst showing increased selectivity for certain prey. One study examining the stomach contents of threadfin anglerfish off the Pacific coast of Central America found these fish primarily ate two categories of benthic prey, crustaceans and teleost fish. Most adult female serratioid anglerfish have a luminescent organ called the esca at the tip of a modified dorsal ray, the elysium or fishing rod. The organ has been hypothesized to serve the obvious purpose of luring prey in dark, deep sea environments, but also serves to call males' attention to the females to facilitate mating. The source of luminescence is symbiotic bacteria that dwell in and around the esca. Alright, guys, this video's over here. Try the video if you like. Comment below your idea of the video. Also, subscribe to subscribe our channel without forgetting. Click on the bell icon followed by a video clip and bring it to you. We'll meet you in another video. We are SS Amazing World.